what is going on guys I am trying to bloodhound out a leak here on this new ream unit this unit's been in just under a year and this was a complimentary first checkup and I noticed a lot of residue down through here under my Rubitex I've got oil down in there so I found a couple places here let's see we got the Robin Air LD7 out here and on the bottom of the solder joint there you can see we're picking it up there I'm going to show you the size of the leak on the screen see we're going up into the yellow so that means that's a significant leak uh, as far as leak detectors goes this is a very good leak detector I like it but the one area they went wrong and some other detectors do the same thing and I've heard some of you other guys complain also is that there is only one level of alert so that thing's gonna make the same alert whether it's a tiny leak or a huge leak so you do have to look down at that screen and look at the green yellow and red bars and that way you know how large your leak is I would prefer that the sound also alerted as far as letting you know the size of a leak you know starting out just a, a slow beep getting faster and then you know a solid beep but we definitely have a spot under there there's one other spot that's concerning me a little bit right here at the base of the brass pump down port up on that front corner it almost looked like I saw a bubble there earlier when I moved that line around and I do get a very small hit every time I come to that corner and I can come down here in the leaves and the debris you see that I'm getting nothing right up on top of a leaf and some crud there but back here in the back I don't get anything but every time I go up here I'm getting a leak right at the corner of that brass fitting and that does go up to about a two which is very very small I don't get see there's a two I don't get too bent out of shape if I just get one green LED I'm gonna chalk that up to something almost microscopic or a false hit but when you get up into a second bar <clears throat> you know that you got something going there and I get that hit every time right there we're probably gonna have to replace that whole valve but let's try a couple other things here let me just get out my little mirror here I had to run to the van to get it when I got my phone and Let's just get underneath here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Let me find it. Yeah, there I can see it. We missed a flow of solder right on the very bottom. Yeah, crap. Let me see if I can get it in there. see that there she is that's where she's leaking from all right and then let's try out the old ultrasonic here see what she does I've got a speaker I can hook it up to now so let's see We'll just try this little spot up here first. I'm 
not getting anything there. Let's try underneath here. Yeah. Now some of that popping that you get, that tick, 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 that's a discharge that comes off of my phone. Took me a while to figure that out. But this other sound, that is the leak. A lot of times it's very, very clear. You can tell that it just sounds like a shh. But that is such a ragged little spot. That hole. That's what it sounds like. You see how it's fluttering on the light. So, we definitely got some work to do on this one. These are really nice units. So far, we've had less trouble out of these new rings than we have a lot of other equipment. But this one is kind of our fault. Although that brass leaking like that. I don't really like seeing that. This wouldn't have been too bad. That'd be an easy repair. Flow that solder and we'd have been okay. But that little spot up there that I'm getting on the sniffer, man, I just don't like that. Might try to soap her up a little bit. Hang loose, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. We'll give her a little dibby dab of the Viper Big Blue. Let's just hit this little joint up here first. Will do you. Just not seeing anything up there. It's a small one. Can't even really get it to bubble. I know I'm leaking there though. Right up there is the one I'm worried about. Not really getting her to bubble. Let's 
so that shows you how small that is. But we're going to have to ride it up, come back and fix it. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. See ya.